I remember being in a place in my life when I was in my younger years and I was telling my mom, mom, before I was married or had kids, mom, I don't know if I can make it. I told my mom, I remember I was in the kitchen one day, I said, mom, can you take me somewhere? Just have them put me to sleep. I can't live like this. I just didn't want to live. I just, every day I woke up, and just, I was tormented. I was a youth pastor at the time. So I'm preaching about the joy of the Lord, and I'm dying. No one ever writes that in books. I was dying. I didn't, it, it, it wasn't because Jesus didn't love me. It was the enemy was attacking my life, coming against me. And you know, one of the dumbest things that people said in the church is, well, what are you doing to bring this on? I wasn't doing nothing but preaching the word, serving the Lord. So you can't always go being a, a sin hunter when something's going wrong in your life. Now, sometimes there is a root or there is a cause, and sometimes it's just a plain attack of the devil because he sees the greatness on the inside of you. But my mom started saying to do stuff and go here and go there for me. And, and I was mad, like, Mom, I'm, I can't, I, I, can't, I, gotta, I can't, I don't know what to do. And she kind of got stern with me, you need to just go do it. And as I started doing the stuff I didn't want to do, something started breaking. See, depression and anxiety is all about fixing me. And as long as my eyes are always on me, you see, i got to first get them on Jesus. But I want to tell you, if you're in here today and you're going through any type of depression or anxiety, let me tell you, you're coming out in Jesus' name. You're coming out in Jesus' name. 